think we're gonna have a butterfly tomorrow. I know you're hungry. Go find a flower. <laughs> and he did. Perfect. 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 So as I picked up my phone to record this, I decided what I'm gonna name this butterfly. Oh, by the way, we have a butterfly. <laughs> So yeah, I just decided we're gonna name this guy Bear because he just he just came out of hibernation. I don't know, that'd be a cute name, right? Bear. He's starting to get adventurous now. So Bear, uh, I noticed the chrysalis getting dark last night uh, around like five or six. I noticed that the chrysalis was all of a sudden dark. And so I was like, oh, I, I, think, I think we're gonna have a butterfly tomorrow. And we got Bear this morning, so, yay! He came out probably at like 9 o'clock this morning, so, oh, there's Tatum, unfazed, oh, oh, I think my eyelashes are touching him, I got my long lashes on, there we go, um, so yeah, I think every time I blink, my lashes, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, we'll just hang out. Um, of course, Bear decided to come out on a very chilly, very windy, rainy day. So Bear will be staying with us for obviously at least today. Um, I'm gonna have to check the weather though for this week because it has been, I don't know, it was warm yesterday and then today is cold and rainy. I'll have to check the weather, but we'll see. I might be able to release him. I'm not sure, I don't wanna release him and him um, just be screwed outside. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen any other swallowtails yet this year. Uh, we've seen cabbage whites, and my brother said that he's seen painted ladies so far. Bear, I need to get you some sugar water, or I'm gonna get you honey water. Okay, so you just hang out. You just hang out in here. And I'ma get you. I'ma get you. Oh. You just hang out in here. There you go. I'ma get you some honey water. Okay, I've got my favorite butterfly dish. I'm gonna run the water and get it warm. Might be too much. <laughs> oh, I just got honey in my hair. No. Oh no. It's honey on my hands. Give it a little a little stir. Get the honey dissolved. Oh, not make a mess. That should be good. And now I rip up some paper towel. Okay. Buddy gets a drink. Okay, so it's day two with little Buddy. He still hasn't drinking anything. I put some more water in there. But I've just had him in the sunlight all day. I've been moving him around the house. As you guys know, like, 90% of the time I will release butterflies. Except this is, like, the first weird winter fluke that I've had butterflies that I, like, couldn't release. And it's still been pretty cold and windy out today, so I didn't want to release them outside even though it's been kind of sunny. Like, there, there like isn't much flowers. Like, I don't know what he would eat, but I've noticed that with keeping the swallowtails, I've only kept like one or two monarchs before, but they always seem to eat and live like their whole life, the, the two monarchs that I've raised. But every time, because this is my third swallowtail, Every time I have a swallowtail, for some reason they just don't eat. I had the one other swallowtail chrysalis that was from the two that hibernated from the summer, and then I had the one other swallowtail chrysalis that my brother had found. Neither, I couldn't get either of them to eat. <laughs> Tatum's playing the other day. I couldn't get either of them to eat, um, and so far this guy like won't eat either, so I just keep misting him 
but unfortunately I don't think he's gonna live very long, um, which is what happened with the last two swallowtails. The last swallowtail that was the chrysalis that my brother found was an eastern tiger swallowtail. That one only lasted, I think, three days um, just because it wouldn't eat. So I'm hoping um, that at least keeping him in the sun will make him live a little longer even if he doesn't eat. Um, I'm, I'm gonna see tomorrow maybe if it gets warmer, but it's it's been like so cold at nights here that I just don't want to release him for him to be doomed outside. Yay, day three and he's drinking. Oh, thank goodness. I literally just grabbed him. I just went to grab him because I have Deity out. Deity is fully fed, so she is no threat to Bear. But um, yeah, I went to grab Bear and he was sticking his little tongue out. So I just stick him in, stuck him in the dish and added some more water. So yay, he's getting a drink. That's so good. You let me know when you're done because I just want to make one quick TikTok, okay? Okay, great. He's just flying around in there. Oh, there he goes. Stretching his wings. So I keep checking the weather to see if like I can just go let him outside because right now it's 60 degrees outside. And so the sun, I'm sure he's feeling good. Um, but it's going to go down to like 43, 42 tonight, it says. And um, 40 degrees is like the temperature where um they'll start to like die so yeah not not gonna let him go because um like yeah it sucks that i've got him like in here and he's not out flying around but i'm not gonna let him go for him to to not wake up tomorrow morning because it gets cold you know what i mean um so yeah i just keep trying to reiterate that like I I was hoping he would come out in, like, May or June. I think I said that in my last video. Um, I really didn't want to keep another one, because now I feel bad that that's the third chrysalis that has come out. It's all a learning process. Neither of the first two I, I knew were going to happen. I mean, at least we made it to almost May, the middle of April, but I was hoping he wasn't going to come out until, like, June so that he would have um, <clears throat> other butterflies to go party with outside. Um, but it looks like another day that I'm keeping him. So You went and got your butterfly toy because oh, I was talking about the butterfly. You don't have to be all afraid that I'm going to take it. Sorry. <laughs> and got it. Oh, honey, I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna play with you. I'll play with you. Oh, she's being weird. She doesn't want me to have the butterfly. Oh, I'm sorry. I already have my own butterfly. Is that what you're saying? That one's yours. I already have mine that I play with. Fair enough, ma'am. Fair enough. On day four, we lost one of the. Oh, really? You're hiding it? We lost one of the tails. But day five and oh, homie's doing pretty good. Yeah, bud. Good morning, Mister for my buddy. He was just flying around. We're on day six. I'm not gonna take him out right now because I'm trying to let him relax because day six is impressive. Um. But yeah, he's doing really well. I just missed it, of course, but he was just flying around the enclosure. That's why I started misting him. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty cold. It's a cold, rainy day again. Um, so I've got him next to the heater, misting him so he stays nice and warm and humid and all that goodness. <laughs> flying around. Put him over here in the sun. Yay, I gave him some fresh water and he's getting a drink. I can't really see through. Still can't see through here because the water marks, but he's getting a drink. Yay, that's good. Yeah, you can see. His little tongue. Oh. 
his little tongue sticking out. He's getting a drink. So on my birthday, we've discovered that we can bottle feed the butterfly. So, let me show you. Okay. So he's right there. You see his little tongue sticking out. Try and meet him. You right there, buddy? There it is. Oh. If you can see, his little tongue is in there drinking the water. Let me fill it up again. I was misting him. I realized he really was looking for for drinkage. So see, you can see his little tongue stick out. There we go. See his little tongue? You can actually see the water going down as he's drinking it. This is like the sixth time I've done this. He's drinking a lot. But then like when the water's gone, as long as his tongue is, I don't think he can reach anymore. So I gotta refill it. Ready? You can see his little tongue. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Still thirsty? I don't see a tongue anymore. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, there you go, buddy. Let me not bend it on you. <laughs> My hands are so shaky. Why don't you just stick your tongue in? Okay, well, oh, oh. Here we go. Nice little drinky drink. You can see that the water's gone from the end of this straw there. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. Come on, okay. Just a little missing water drop. Okay, so I think we're on like day 16 or something wild now. Um, and the weather's finally coming around enough that it's gonna be, you know, above 40 <laughs> at night um, and very nice during the day. So I think we're gonna let Bear go. He's still super energetic and yeah, he's just been doing really well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let him go because he seems healthy enough to do so. Okie dokie. We're gonna take Bear outside. Oh, he's oh. ready to go. I remember last year when we let them go. This was, there we go. Bye, Bear. I gotta follow him. Okay. There you go, Bear. See, that's what I wanted to let you go on, but Mom said you like the yellow flowers. Oh. <laughs> you go on, you go on, live your life. <laughs> He's just happy to be in the sun. Say one last goodbye. Don't want the wind to take you. Go on, bear. Go on, I see your tongue sticking out. I know you're hungry. Go find a flower. <laughs> and he did. Bear went to film him on the flower and he just don't get hurt up by the goats. Looks like he might be drinking, or he's trying to drink. Buddy, I don't think that's a flower. <sighs> Do you want me to try and take
take you to a flower bud? Cause, cause that's not, that's not, uh, that's just some grass that you're trying to drink there. to a flower. Oh, 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 okay. Oh no, be careful. Be careful in there. Oh no. You, yeah, keep flying, bud. Keep going. Keep going. You go on and be great. Bye, bear. And just like that, bear is gone. Off to go find, hopefully, a lady friend and bring us some more of his uh, kids. <laughs> So thankfully, after all, we were able to release Bear, um, so that's really good. I googled it, I thought his kind of swallowtail, because he's a black swallowtail, or eastern black swallowtail, um, I thought he only lived 9 to 12 days, like, and that was it, but they say the average, I think, is 9 to 12 days, but they can live up to like 30 to 45 days. Um, so like a month and a half. So yeah, so if that's the case with Bear, he's probably got another good month to live. Um, so yeah, that about wraps up this video, I believe. And unless we for some odd reason happen to find some caterpillars or butterflies in the next few weeks, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last butterfly video until it's, uh, Till it's like full on summer. So, but I do have a mantis surprise in store. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Um, bear with me for the next like month or two until I can make more butterfly content. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.